Okay, so <coughs> what we did on last week, last week we did uh, that certificate farm, we understood, now we understood the uh, importance of certificates, we understood the encryption format, we implemented certificates with uh, combination of domain controller that means enterprise model certificate server. Now first of all today we learn how to create, how to create certificate. Okay, so certificate can be prepared in two ways. Uh, let me draw that protocol first. Also we need another server, uh, let's prepare for that. What are we looking again today? We will first create the how to create certificate from MMC okay. as well as through web portal and then we will create one website and we will secure that website based on the certificate. So for okay. that only we need a web server. understood the concept first that's now we have a certificate form and different different team can ask editing uh, need to create one certificate now my question whenever this question will come need one certificate there is a huge inner meaning of that if the same thing will ask next answer is which kind of certificate? Which kind of certificate? Let's say one. Is this computer certificate? Or is this web service? Web web server certificate or web page certificate whatever you say web server certificate fine next is what this is your concern then he will tell ok this is the computer certificate so in case of computer certificate then how will you procure you can procure two way either you will go and create certificate from CA server CA server and then MMC and then add certificate this is the way second option is from this particular machine that means whenever for which machine client need certificate you can create certificate from this particular machines third one is what third one is you can procure certificate based on the web portal so all three way you can generate certificate computer certificate right the same way you can generate all three way you can generate web server certificate and a local certificate that means fine it's a computer certificate and web server certificate all three of you can generate what is now my question how you can instruct your certificate server that which specific information you need to create computer certificate or to create web certificate for that only you need a certificate template that's already the templates it's already in your infrastructure 
and this may be a different different templates that may be uh, computer certificate you have defined the all the process predefined what will be the security what will be the security part what information it need what kind of certificate will generate what is the key size either you can create web server template or this two is very famous rest of are not required based on the templates whenever you need to create one certificate you choose or connect either computer template or either web server template based on this template you procure the certificate either from ca server or either from this particular server or either from web server got my point clear so today we will have to do this part so first i'm not able to hear you i'm not able to hear you hello yeah yeah okay so what i'm saying can you please repeat uh, the last statement you said how do you know where to pick a certificate from the template or from the web server repeat that part please so whenever there is a requirement come to create certificate so you yeah. concern you need to ask them is this computer certificate or is this web server certificate okay they any, tell you any tell any process any options they choose either computer or web server you have to already predefined templates configure in your infrastructure based on the template you will select and create i mean and create certificate now while create certificate where you need to go you can go ca server from mmc you can create certificate same procedure you can let's say i am there is a requirement to create certificate for this particular server for this particular server so for that only you can create this ca server certificate from there you choose template and create certificate or else you can create certificate inside from this server or third one you can create certificate from your csr through web portal the requirement is csr you need to keep them csr based on the csr is nothing but a certificate signing request certain information you will give them proper cifa text based on the cifa text certificate server will create the certificate for you got it yeah okay fine so my server is ready uh, let's yes server is ready let's i i join this machine into a domain first okay okay I enjoyed the practical yesterday thoroughly. We are using the yesterday, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay.
Okay. Now I'm gonna join this machine to the domain. web server Okay, so our machine is now part of this particular domain. Now, there is a requirement come. That's this is I have recently uh, uh, procured one server into the domain. I need the computer certificate for this particular server, right? So you can check from your domain controller that the server was created. So let's if we go to the computer and this is a web server. Now you they client need a certificate for this particular web server. Got it? Before yeah. we move, before we move, we have to create a certificate templates for web server and computer. Got it? So for that only where do you need to go? You have to go your ADC server. Then where you need to go? You have to go CA, Certificate Authority. So for there, you have to go Tools. Now there is the option Certification Authority. And there is the options Certificate Templates. So by default, there is some few templates that is not okay. no longer required. We have to create a templates as per our need. There is a web server template, there is a computer template. But if you go with there, this is nothing. Of, it's 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 a totally different thing. So you have to create the same one with different name. Okay. So for that only go to manage. From there, you select computer template. Click on duplicate templates. So first of all, go to the subjected name. Okay. So here, this option have to uncheck, and you have to select from supply this request. Why? If you not select this option, then this particular templates cannot be visible whenever we will procure the certificate from web server template, web, uh, I mean web console. You got my point? So in that only, you have to select these options. Next is what? Next is, next, next, next. Say certificate manage approval, okay. Here nothing, no need to do anything. Key attestation, nothing, need no, no anything. Go to security. In this security, you have to give them ADC server full permission. Side by side what? Domain, computer, 
साइड बाय साइड डोमेन कंट्रोलर नाउ इफ यू नीड दैट एनीवन कैन क्रिएट द सर्टिफिकेट फ्रॉम योर डोमेन देन हियर यू नीड टू ऐड डोमेन यूजर दैट एवरीवन कैन क्रिएट सर्टिफिकेट सो यू नीड टू ऐड द डोमेन यूजर राइट now what you need to do you give them one by one permission right so domain computer having automatically certified renewal domain controller having automatically certified renewal as well as domain user can automatic certificate renewal got it perfect click on apply next is what go to general this option have to select public certificate in active directory and select this option so that any duplicate certificate Cannot be procured if this option is enabled. Got it? Yes. Next is subjected name. You have already done. Okay. Extractions already. Client server authentication. That for purpose you have created a server subjected name. Service templates. Key attribution. Cryptography. compatibility general request handling then this option has to enable allow private key to be exported if you not select this option then whenever you are require any certificate and you have created from different server then this certificate will not accept by your destination computer so in that case you they need a private key to encrypt this certificate so always use this option whenever i procure certificate from this particular templates so that it will always export the private key now click on okay and name uh, general yeah so here it will be show as copy of computer okay so it's showing as copy of computer why because which name i have got that is this. okay so let's Like, did you give them enterprise right? Let's see. Domain admin, enterprise admin, certificate picking access. Okay, fine. So the same way we have created another web server. That means. on duplicate template so the same thing you have to do here general so you can create web server webo always first you have to change the name first then then only you will able to change that name okay so the same thing you have to do here okay next is request handling allow private key to be exported cryptography nothing to do anything Uh, a key attestation, nothing to do. And because security, ADC is having full permission. Domain, computer, domain controller, as well as domain user. domain computer full concern domain controller full concern domain user full concern you got it extension request handling server compatibility are you recording sir yes security has been done subject name has been done general purpose is done request and list and cryptography all those steps is have to check very carefully here we are while you are going to create the templates okay <coughs> perfect then click on apply and okay so last sign last certificate you have created copy of computer so use you can use this or you can create a new duplicate template from here okay so in that case yeah. now 
if you go to this general then it will allow you to do that okay so you can use this com instead of copy of com mm. okay next is vital important is security and the security domain computer domain controller domain user okay next is what uh here publish certificate to apt hmm. next is what compatibility A request handling allow private to be exported subject name and supply from this particular office right perfect all have been set successfully now close this options and then publish the certificate then go to here certificate template issue got it it will take some time to come the window Okay, so what certificate you have created? Com, and another one is web. Both you have to select and click on publish. Now go to. Uh, how do what what key do you use? Seed. That's the question I was asking you yesterday. It's control key. Hmm. It's a control key. Control key. You have to. Yeah, control and what? You can't just keep click control. control select and then control select this simple things okay so this has been done now you have created the templates that means this two has been done perfect now what i need to do i will create the certificate from this particular machines from i need certificate from this but i will raise the certificate from this particular machines got it So what I need to go, I will log into the web server, and from there, I will go and run MMC. MMC means Microsoft Console, Microsoft Management Console. Okay. From there, I have to go Files, Add Remove Snappin, click on Certificate, Computer Certificate. Finish. Click on personal. Yes. This is the computer key store where the certificate will be available. The key store is blank because the computer do not have certificate. Now you have to create certificate and raise the request from this particular machine. And where your certificate are going to procure from this particular C S server? That means it is C S server. How? Because we have already delegates, we have already delegates domain computer into the ADCS. Did we do that? Shall we create a delegation? No, that we did not do. So now we are going to create the delegation. Again, certificate go authority. this time we will select go properties and security in this particular security i will add first adcs account which is very vital for this operations next is domain computer or else none of the user none of the computer can 
get this certificate if you are not get delegates then here domain here you press the control key and then select domain computer domain controller domain user got it and domain admin as well all set now you have what you need to do you have to select account give them allow 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 again you need to be again you have to go to domain admin to whom you are giving access those who can create certificate those who can contact this okay as well as domain users i have give them a authority delegation that these are the users just come on this picture if this is your certificate server and you do not delegate users computer here how this computer come and go a certificate from there they will reject so that is why i give them delegates to whom domain controller domain user domain computer and domain admin enterprise got it now it has been done now what i need to go from inside of the server same console again i am showing you go to mmc yes go to the file add remove snapping certificate add computer account finish finish okay go to personal now i am going to create certificate from there so go to the all text request a new certificate next now here there is a two way configure by you or actively active directory enrollment policy whatever the policy you have created based on that your certificate will be create so i am going to go next now it is contacting csr that is why it is taking time now see all this template was visible right that you have created more information because why this is a blank template you have to give them proper information so my i am going to create computer certificate got it so this is i have to select this one go to click on there go to properties now what happened i have to provide the information about this particular machine what the basic information computer certificate should be created with computer so that anyone whenever do the msdsc that he will get the certificate what it so what is my certificate name how will you know what will my computer name how will you know go to submit cmd and now the command host name web server got it and my domain is bt.com so it will be web server do not uh, if anything miss here you will, your system will not get uh, that means the certificate will not open actually got my point it will show you a certificate error if you not create the proper naming or anything spelling mistake so be careful here web server dot bt dot com got it click on add and what next you information give you can give them country name son name uh, you know uh, state whatever you want so generally we will provide organization that means uh, software organization that's it got it rest of all that information is accurate what i have defined in the templates because certificate using from this particular template right so i have created make the private key exportable this option is check here what my point everything is accurate hmm? 
so click on apply ok and enroll now you can see that certificate was created in this particular machine showing enrolling yes hello yeah i'm here okay so has been done certificate has been created ready this is your computer certificate you have done so the first procedure is what you have created certificate from same pc now i am going to create the same certificate for this particular machine i will connect create certificate from csr how will i do that for that only i am going to delete this certificate got it i am going to delete this certificate. there is no certificate then then what I need to do, same things, I will go to edit CS server and from there MMC I can create the same things, go to run and MMC. Got it? Now add move snap in, same things, open certificate, create computer account, next, finish, open. Click on personal and this is certificate. Now you are going to create this certificate for not this particular machine. You are going to create certificate for web server. So after you create this certificate here, you have to manually carry them. You have to manually carry them to that particular server. What my point? So what I need to do? This is very toughest point. So that is why it's required to create certificate from everyone machines. But the user is not educated how to create certificate. So that is why it will come to load to editing that how they want to create this so same thing i'll gonna create all task request new certificate next active directory enrollment click on next select form properties as usual common name that you have to go you know uh, that means server name web server dot bt dot com now here one thing I am telling you on an, ob an observation as well, an observation as well, organization as well, software. One thing I am telling you, if you want to call this server with another DNS alias, let's say you want to uh, open this, uh, call this server with Weibo, right? Or your software, something they need to uh, log in this server with Weibo. So definitely when when they log in this server with webo or web computer whatever their name then the certificate is created for only webserver.bt.com not for webo or uh, web computer got it so okay what are the possibility name you call this particular machines you all have to mention in dns name that means directory name or dns name got it so here I sometimes I can call them Weibo. Okay. Sometimes I can call them Web Computer. Sometimes I can call them Web Champ. Whatever. So every cases, whenever I trying to MSTC Weibo, trying to MSTC Web Computer, trying to MSTC Web Champ, every time I will get this certificate. You got my point? You got my point? Yeah. So, is so this these are the names of the exactly down here. It's names like, of what? It's look like the person X having millionaire bank account in his bank, but person X 
was not nominated his child or grandchild or any other person may so at the time of death of mr x will that given to their without nomination will that given to their um, relatives no why because mr x was not allocated anyone or uh, you know he does not allow any nominee to his property so after his death it will be captured by government so same thing like that so whenever you are creating certificate you are giving only one name the rest of the name you have not declare you why you are creating certificate so whenever you will allow the computer with this name you will not get the certificate this is clear and simple understand got it clear yeah 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 now click on apply click on okay and click on enroll So, so if you have like organization have got fifty computers and they need to allocate this certificate, or how do you do that? What do you understand then? What I told here? Because you say here we are doing individual, individual, or on the practical, but we only have in the, our in our structure. We only have three. We only have one uh, co computer. How many computer in your infrastructure? Let's say forty, fifty, sixty, seventy. Yeah. Every time yeah. you have to create certificate. Let's say if it is a seventy, then seventy time you have to create certificate. Manually. Yes. Wow. Automation, automation also there. I will after that I will show you how to create whenever okay, machine okay. will be joined to the domain, automatic okay. certificate will be created. Okay, okay, okay. That okay. is also done okay. through GPU. Uh, I'll show okay, you. Okay, okay. I'll show you. This is also available. All software. right. Okay. So manually, if this option or certificate auto enrollment not enabled in your domain, or okay. auto renewal not enabled into the domain, then manually you have to create certificate for every server, and manually oh, okay. you have to renew the certificate for every server. What it? Wow. Okay. Yeah. So now the server. certificate was created on adcs still in way 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 if you go there right you will not get the certificate mm -hmm. then how will you carry the certificate to this in that case go to all task and then export now during export i would suggest always export this certificate with private key yes export the export the private key always do this so click on next okay then there is a option if you export the private key so private key cannot go with without security you have to give them personal information exchange that means dot pfx format what it so if mm -hmm. you if you choose this dot pfx format click on next then you have to provide the password and the same password you have to enter whenever the certificate you are going to import to on that particular server what it mm -hmm. so i'm giving the certificate password here This is I'm doing private key. Got my point? Yeah. Until and unless this private key match, you cannot create the certificate from here. So what is the file name? You get to create file name. That means web server dot bt dot com. now you see that this certificate what's look like this that means and you will see that normal key format this is a pfx format and if i export the same certificate with normal then it look like this without any security is i say no i do not export the private key and then cases it's look like this Web, because I cannot create the same things with different name. Web server. Dot. Bt. Dot com. Now 
Now it looks like this. This is a normal septic gear which is not protected, but PFX is protected because it's carrying private key. Got it? Mm -hmm. Now you will cut this and go to your domain share that is your slash slash pt.com. After that, any of the folders, if there any replication not going, you can paste it here. If the replication going on, then you can't ever open that folder. Got my point? And yeah. same thing, you go there. <coughs> you go there and run it. Slash slash pt dot com. This is the certificate. Got it? Mm -hmm. Next what? Next you have to install this. Install PFX, local machines, next. Then it will ask you the password. Then you have to provide that private key. Got it? If it is forget, then it will not work. Then it is asked to the place where you want to put the certificate. Definitely on personal folder. Click on next, finish. Certificate import successful. Got it? Yeah. Go to that. MMC. Personal certificate. Now see. Got it? Certificate come here. Clear? Yeah. Perfect. So, this two mechanism, two method, you can create certificate. Last one is wave enrollment method. So, how wave enrollment work? While you install the rules, there is a one rule, install that certificate authority web enrollment. So if you go to there, INET MGR, here you have to go certificate server, okay, not web server. INET MGR. And this INET MGR, you will see that CA server delegation was there. Got it? And from there, go to the sites, default sites, and this is the, your SAT serve. The application reachable with the name of SAT serve. Got it? So mm -hmm. what you need to do? You have to go and click on browse. If you did everything Okay, then only this portal will work. I am again telling you. Or else this portal will not work. Okay. Oh. Yeah. So, what I need to do? I am going to certificate, request certificate. And then advance certificate request. Submit certificate request. Now, first question. Here, if you come here, then what the thing you need to do? You will see that your Weibo and Com. These two templates are visible or not. If this is not visible, you will not be able to create any certificate from there. Got it? So your first possibilities are, are working fine. Next is what? Next is you have to create a CSR, certificate signing request. Then only you will create this certificate from this web portal. Got my point? So web portal, yeah. can, web portal can be reachable to every machine. <coughs> web portal can be reachable to every machine. Even you can create a web portal from here as well. If you go to there <coughs> and HTTP mm -hmm. double slash and server IP address. That means uh, 10 dot 10 dot 10 dot 
साठ साठ I think the IP address is wrong. C E R T S R V. C E R T S R V. Yes. Now it is asking me that is that the password A D C S. Add them into the exception. Got it? Yeah. Okay. The same thing you need to check that all are coming or not. Got it? All are coming. Mm -hmm. Fine. So now you have to create CSR. Got it? How will you create the CSR? The same way you have to go your MMC as well. And from this MMC, add the move snapping certificates. Add computer certificate. Next, local machines. Finish. Personal certificate. Here. You let's say this is not there, right? This is not there. Delete it. And you are creating certificate for this particular machine. So what you need to do here first, you will create advanced operation. Create custom request. Got it? Yeah. Custom request. So in custom request, you are creating CSR. What my point? So here I will select which template? Com template. Click on next, and I am going to select these options. That means common name is web server dot bt dot com and organization or let's say country you can Ellen London. Only two digit. Country always two digit. More than it cannot be work. And DNS, it's let's say web AMP, web AMP, WinAMP, WinAMP or whatever it is. Uh, common name, uh, DNS name. Because you want to, you know, uh, create the export. I mean, you can call the machine with another name. That is why you are doing it. Click on apply. Okay. Next. And there you have to select in your desktop CSR file. Got it? So you can give them web and um, whatever it is, anything you can do. And click on this file. Once you click on finish, the file will be generated here. You have to open with notepad. Then this key is there. It's called CFAT test. Got it? Certificate signing okay. request. It's a CSR value. You have to copy this value. Go to the portal and paste here. Now you have to select your com templates attributes, whatever it is. Okay. If you want to create attributes, okay, or else click on okay, no problem. Now I'm telling you, once I click on submit, if all setting done, then only it will work, or else it will show you request or um, some problem. What is what to say? Uh, maybe RPC timeout or something else will come. So let's click on submit. Yes. Let's see. If it is works, definitely a good appreciation for you that you have done end to end perfectly without any error. Uh,
content sorry privacy no privacy content is not Trusted site. Go to trusted site and you add them. Okay. To so add them mm -hmm. slash such sound. Root. Click on add. Okay. Close. Again, you have to do the same and form. Now we have to put them A, D, C, S. So I think this passwords, this part was somehow not done. Or it was not working. So let's see the same thing on ADC server as well. Mm. Server processing request, contact information, request timeout, RPC server unavailable. But this is very common. So let's try internet options, trusted site. Add them local host. This is 11, right? Yeah. Ah, uh, no, 12. 12. I think it was 12. 12? Oh, sugar. 11.
great. It has been done because the site you need to add into the trusted site. Now you can create download certificate from there. Remember one thing, while you click mm -hmm. on download, the certificate is saved and sometimes Unix team also needs the certificate from you, then in that case you have to provide proper chain, download certificate chain. Windows team they need certificate only, Unix team also need certificate chain. Got it? Okay. So now if you click on this certificate, this certificate will show you the certificate path where it is issued from CS underscore BT. And what are the details it has been given here? If you go there, if you click on subject and subject alternate name, when I'm, everything is there. So now you just install the certificate from here. Install certificate. Local machines, next. Yes. Choose the store. Personal, click on OK next next and okay. so certificate as usual will be comes here got it clear now yeah so this yeah, is how yeah. we can create certificate in three different methods and these are the techniques so in the same infrastructure you will do that this is a small hands-on practice and then we will go to the next practical. Okay? Okay, so I'll do this practical on uh, next week. Sunday. No, not Sunday practical. evening. Not Sunday. Sunday will not be available. Uh, we will do the same on uh, Monday evening. Monday evening. No. Please don't change because I'm very busy next week. So if I do my practical Monday evening, then we can do our practical on Tuesday you evening. Do, uh, theory on Tuesday. No, yeah, Monday I'll do my practical. Monday I'll do practical, Tuesday theory. Yeah. Okay. 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 Perfect. So I'll do my practical Monday. What time is it? Time like this on Monday, half past eight. Half past eight, uh, your Indian time, yeah? Yeah. All right, okay. Thank you. I have to go back to work now. Yeah. Thank you. Share the video. Bye. Sure.